Hello, and welcome to Storm Tracking Today. In this video, I'll show how active this hurricane season may be, as well as some key factors to back up my forecast. This is a graphic which I've made that shows what wind shear anomalies could look like this August through November. And in the blue color, I'm expecting for slightly below average uh, wind shear anomalies, which usually means uh, that thunderstorms can stack vertically, which in most cases leads to further intensification. The orange colors indicate slightly above average wind shear, um, and I have two areas in the subtropics. Um, and uh, above average wind shear usually uh, tears apart systems and puts a cap on their intensity. This is a graphic that I made that shows forecasted sea surface temperatures in August through November. The orange color represents slightly above average sea surface temperatures. And I believe that for the most part, the Atlantic will be above average with a few exceptions. One area off of the North Carolina coast will likely have um, sea surface temperatures that are average or below average. In addition, the waters off of the Cabo Verde Islands will also likely be average to below average for the remainder of the season as shown by some climate models. I have also noted an area in the Southern Caribbean where the sea surface temperatures may be average. This is Colorado State University's numbers forecast which was just updated this month. In their previous April forecast, they were calling for 17 named storms, 8 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. They are now calling for 20 named storms, 9 hurricanes, and their major hurricane forecast has remained the same, which is significantly above the long-term average of 14 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. Due to the fact that we have a strong West African monsoon, we may see many of our storms originate in the main development region, which is the region that I have highlighted in dark green. And we have already had a hurricane which originated over Africa, and that could be an indicator of what's to come this hurricane season. The Bermuda High will generally be stronger than average this season, which for the most part means that less systems will trek out to sea, possibly impacting interest in the North Atlantic. Here are my updated forecast numbers for this hurricane season. As of now, I am expecting for 21 named storms, 9 to 11 hurricanes, and for 3 to 6 out of my forecasted 21 named storms to be intense cyclones. I am expecting for the ACE or cumulative cyclone energy this season to be from 150 to 180 points due to the fact that we may be dealing with many long track main development region systems. Just to put that into perspective, 160 ACE points is considered hyperactive. Here is my updated track and origin forecast. Now keep in mind that these shaded regions only show the most likely hotspots for the season and do not show the exact tracks that these storms will take. I'm expecting for eight named storms to originate in the red area, six named storms in the orange region, four storms in the yellow shaded area, and three in the white sector. The most likely landfall for a significant cyclone will be in the southeastern US, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and the Yucatan Peninsula though other locations are not out of the question. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see my most recent video, hit the thumbnail off to the right of your screen. If you'd like to get notified whenever I release a new video, hit the circular icon on the left of your screen and hit subscribe so you won't miss out on my future videos. I hope to see you on my next tropical update.